This video is brought to you by Squarespace, a platform perfect for creating your own website. Stay tuned to hear more! Good morning everyone, it is extremely early but we are at the airport. I currently just landed in Providence and we are here for the craft sale. I am super excited but right now my main priority is getting sleep. I was so tired when I got off the airplane that I actually just sat at the airport for a couple hours before I was mentally ready to move. We're eating muffins for breakfast today, these are just some that I brought from home and we're gonna hope that the hotel lets me in early made it to the hotel i'm so happy they let me in early i'm about to pass out i'm gonna sleep and then we'll talk after but oh my god this bed be looking so good right now hello everyone so it is the night before the event uh, my sleep schedule is all over the place because i caught a flight this morning that was at six so i left my house at three so i didn't sleep and i couldn't sleep until i got on the flight at six and i've never been so tired that i fell asleep before takeoff i just like assumed the plane started flying because i never actually saw it happen the flight's only two hours so i only got to sleep two hours and then i came to the hotel and i sat there until i think they felt so bad for me that they let me check in at 11 a.m because i was there from like eight or nine to like 11 like low-key falling asleep in their lobby because i had nowhere else to go and i had a whole suitcase and there wasn't really anything near this area. I'm not really a stranger to just walking around with a suitcase and doing stuff, but because I was so entirely exhausted, I think I would have passed out. So we are currently here. I have my Chipotle half eaten. I'm about to finish it. And I have a burrito in here that I need to put in the fridge. I actually never have Chipotle burritos. I guess tomorrow's the day because I need to get something to eat while at the event. I was thinking today, I was like, how the hell am I gonna go to the bathroom? I don't know. Um, hope that i am fine i don't know it's six hours i'm gonna check out tomorrow morning they have complimentary breakfast so i'll probably grab some breakfast and then we're gonna check out and go straight to the event and then after the event we're going straight home still got a little bit of juicy juice and we're just chilling i've been watching anime all day when i haven't been asleep which has been a grand total of probably like four hours that's my life today so i will see you guys tomorrow i'm so excited and scared that i won't wake up on time i've told like four people to please wake me up at like 7 a.m if i'm not awake yet <laughs> but yeah i will see you guys tomorrow hello everyone good morning um apologies again for the horrible lighting it's 7 a.m the sun is barely out if you guys know me that is extremely early for me and i think for ordinary people as well oh, i have to get my burrito out of my fridge i'm getting ready to check out of the hotel because we are going to check out i just did my makeup and i'm going to uber over to rizd within the next hour i gave myself about an hour to get ready i'm gonna do my hair because the one luxury <laughs> item i brought on this trip is my hair curler i didn't really bring anything else because i wanted to make it a very easy trip for myself and not have to worry about too many things so i'm gonna curl my hair do all the stuff i need to do pack get ready clean up and be there by eight i got an alert it's supposed to be raining right now my weather is still set to rhode island even though I moved out of Rhode Island over six months ago. At this point, I don't know how to change it, so it's just still doing that. But it said that it was gonna stop raining at 7.25 and continue raining at eight o'clock, but then at nine o'clock, it was gonna be perfectly fine. So I don't know what that's all about, but it's 80%. So I'm hoping that first of all, it doesn't keep raining. And that second of all, um, everything goes well. But I don't know what the weather is like. I wore this pink shirt because my tablecloth is pink and most of my products are pink. So I wanted to match and I think it's important to dress up to represent your products. Um, but I do also have like a hoodie, like I have a black essentials hoodie. So if that's what I end up wearing, that's okay too. I find it funny and I've been thinking about it lately how my aesthetic and my art start separating more and more. I feel like I dress more edgy as of lately, but my art still continues to be really pink and cute but i'm gonna not waste any more time i'm gonna do my hair eat that free hotel breakfast love that i started dreading this event because i just wanted to like be over with so i'm gonna try my best to enjoy it because that's not the attitude i want towards it but i'm just like so tired and so much has gone into it you know that i'm kind of like ah, it'd be kind of nice to just go home so <laughs> yeah i'm gonna do all the things i need to do and we'll catch up after i feel like this looks Okay, I kind of stopped curling my hair for 
a long time for a multitude of reasons so I kind of have to relearn how to do it but you know what ultimately I've learned that it never looks good right after I do it and it always looks better a few hours later so although I don't mean to only curl the ends of my hair I need a longer hair straightener so that I can reach all of it but yeah I think we're ready to check out let's see what they have for breakfast Woo! I need to put on my hoodie because it's cold but I don't know if it's gonna be cold outside can't tell. Earlier uh, yesterday when I went to go get food, it was not cold. So yeah, so I have like a giant ring light basically. Looks good, looks nice, nice lighting. Be a parent's artist? No. <laughs> yeah. A little awkward. <laughs> well, she's a beautiful soul, but you know, she's quirky mm -hmm. in a good way. Mm -hmm. For the actual event itself, when I showed up, it looked like this, and Benefit Street looks just the same as I remembered. This is my table before I even put anything on it, and I got my suitcase, I checked out this morning, brought it here with me, and now we're gonna set up. The first thing I'm looking for is my tablecloth, because that is the most important thing. I did not use tablecloths before when I was in college, but as soon as I decided I was gonna do wristy craft, I was like, first thing I need is a tablecloth, because it really changes the game. Of course, I got a pink one, because all my stuff is pink, and I don't foresee it not being pink for a while, so perfectly matches the brand, which is very important to me and now we're gonna build up some of these little box guys i only have a couple of these but it's really difficult to bring a lot of setup items because i traveled here so i'm trying to make everything as convenient for me as possible so i got these stands as well that are going to be great for my prints and stuff and i put everything in ziploc bags just because i thought this was going to be the easiest for me and overall it did make it easier so i'm glad that i did that i probably didn't have to use ziploc bags but i didn't have any tote bags or anything on hand with me at the time so this was the easiest thing since they were all see-through but i'm just just pulling out a good stack of all these prints and I'm gonna set them up and I really like the way they look standing up as opposed to sitting on the table also because I'm outdoors I'm very careful about wind and this is one thing that I've learned from my other two tabling experiences because they were both outdoors and I hated it because omg the wind will actually mess up so much and like you don't have time to chase after things that fly off your table I tried to find things that would reduce wind resistance <laughs> and I have my sticker board I don't know if you guys remember this but this is from like a past tabling event i think one of my first or second tabling events and i just kept it the same because i didn't really feel like changing it so i have a bag of samples and stuff i'm just pulling all that out and i kept my sample earrings on the stand just because i figured that would be the easiest since i'm traveling and i don't have the luxury of a car the only thing was that these kept knocking over so i would probably find something heavier for the future but they did the job for now and i got some more labels and some other things i did these the night before and these just have the prices on them i find that a lot of people don't necessarily want to talk to you all the time i don't like talking to people sometimes when i shop so i like to make sure prices are next to every single thing that has a price it's a little chilly out here so my hands are getting cold providence is exactly how i remembered it which is cold and i don't like that so i'm kind of glad that i'm only here for like a day and this is how everything ended up looking it's a very simple layout in my opinion but i'm very happy with how it came out i got my stickers on one side i try to consolidate all of the packs onto one side just because i think that would make more sense and then the middle i have the earrings because i'm trying to push my earrings the most and hoping that most of my revenue comes from earrings today. And then I got my keychains on the very front of the table, easy to grab. And I got some of the cuter stuff on the back that are taller so that people can still see. So after about an hour of setting up, this is what the table looks like. And while we're waiting for people to show up and start shopping, let's have a quick word from today's sponsor, which is Squarespace. You guys know that I love using Squarespace so much for my online website and my shop. I actually have two websites that I've made with Squarespace and it is the simplest and easiest way that I've ever made a website. With Squarespace, they have so many templates that you can follow and they all look great and are super customizable so you don't have to know any coding or any complicated things to make your own website. I was able to launch my shop online with Squarespace and it was probably the best decision I've ever made because there are just so many benefits to using the Squarespace commerce tools and I know a lot of you wanted to come to this event and if you're interested in any of the new things that you see here or any of my old stuff as well you can head to my website that I made with Squarespace and see it for yourself and I have all my new stuff online from sunfish keychains to new stickers and you can also make your portfolio online which is really important for any artist in my opinion. As an illustrator, I have my entire portfolio online. You guys can check it out. It's in the description box. So if you're interested in trying out Squarespace for yourself, please head to squarespace.com forward slash Tiffany Wang and you can use the code Tiffany Wang for a discount off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you so much for listening and now let's get back to the vlog because people started showing up to my table. You, you OMG! Oh my god. <laughs> Just going crazy. That's so sick. Sick. Yes, of course. <laughs> Gosh, cool. Okay, here you go. Thank you. <laughs> 
super busy the entire time and it only slowed down towards the end but this was the most amazing tabling event that i've literally ever had it was so great meeting all of you guys as you can see my stock is starting to deplete and i actually ended up selling most of my berry earrings so i'm very happy about that a little girl did pay me in quarters and then ran away i didn't even get to say thank you but it was the sweetest thing that has ever happened but as you can see this is what the table is looking like towards the end of the night the sale is officially over so now it's time to clean up and this part i could not wait for because i think by the four hour mark i was getting tired and then by the six hour mark i was ready to go so we're gonna pack up all of our stuff so i only filmed the last part of me cleaning up which is getting my tablecloth back but wowee this was a very great adventure and now i am getting ready to go oh my god uh first of all so cold outside second of all i'm in the elevator of the RISD museum going to pee because i haven't peed in six hours i didn't really have to but i need to go now it's kind of early, but I think I'm gonna just head straight to the airport now. Alrighty, everyone, I am at the airport. So, got a hot chocolate from Duncan, but I'm going to fly home. I am so tired. <laughs> I've been reading Instagram DMs all day, so that's been super fun. I have a couple hours to kill at the airport. I will catch you guys once I'm home. After I got home, it was very tiring, so I got some celebratory ice cream. I did stop by a grocery store, and my mom told me about these new ice creams that they had, which were really cute. This one is like a peach one, and there's also a grapefruit one. As you can see, I almost dropped that one, LMAO, but I got a couple of ice creams. This one. And here I am carrying them. We're gonna go home. And now I wanna share my final thoughts on how the sale went. 
Okay, so I am back home. It's been a couple of days. I took a couple of days to like take a break and relax a little bit. I feel like this is the best job I've done so far of vlogging the event, but it's still just a lot. So it's really hard to get like a proper idea of what happens unless you're there because Rissy Craft is just so like exciting. And as like a freshman all the way up to senior year, it was like my favorite event to do. So I'm so excited that I like got to be a part of it for real, for real. But I have my laptop. I did count up all of the stuff that I sold. Also, do you guys like my fish mouse sticker that's on my laptop? Random announcement about these. I don't know how long those will be staying in the shop. So if you guys want a fish mouse sticker, LMAO. Now would be the time to get them. But I typed up everything that I sold and it went really well. I made a lot more than I thought I was going to, which is good. Only sold out of one thing, mostly because I way overpacked. I packed so much stuff. I did not need to do that. But I sold out of these straw baby charms. I even ended up selling the two samples that I had just because so many people wanted them so that was really good and then I think from what I'm seeing right now I sold the most out of the blobfish keychains which was nice because that was like my first time ever selling those not even online and also the ocean friend sticker sheets did the best out of these stickers which is good everything overall though sold really well so I'm very happy I made a lot of money so I'm able to keep my shop going for a bit and of course you know what I received the day after I left my sunfish keychains. As I said in the last video, I really wanted these for RISD Craft just because I did initially order them with the intent of selling them at RISD Craft because I figured that they would be here on time and they arrived a couple days late, which is why I wasn't able to bring them. But they're super cute and I think these are my favorite keychains that I've made so far. I've been trying to focus a lot on like product quality and stuff, so I'm glad that I'm able to put like time and effort into my stuff and that things are getting better. But as you can see, this is the pink one. Very cute. Cute. they're made so that they can kiss which is so cute they smooch but the pink one looks like this and then she is winking on the back which is really cute i like having them different on the front and back and then the blue one which i think might be my favorite honestly has this little bite mark out of the back because i don't know if you guys know what i'm talking about but i saw this picture of a sunfish back when i was in like high school i think and i thought sad but funny because of the face it had basically it's a sunfish with like a huge bite taken out of it it's just like funny for so many reasons very tragic Tragic, yes, but like the sunfish's face was so funny and also I read somewhere that sunfish have the nutritional value of like a rice cake Like a rice cracker. So they have like no Nutritional value to almost anything. So they don't have many natural predators. I think but um, enough about random sunfish facts I think this guy is super cute So I did end up listing everything that I had at RISD craft on my website. It is still there I am however um, Going to start moving away from handmade things as in my earrings and the the straw baby charms right now my shop has things listed at a specific number just because they've been taking a lot of my time to make and i really like to focus on illustrating but like many things on my shop they all come to an end eventually so if you guys see anything on there right now that you guys like i would highly recommend getting them before they're out of stock but for my next event i'm gonna focus more on tabling i think and not the products themselves because i think i've gotten to a pretty good place so i'm excited i will be vlogging that one as well but i hope you guys enjoyed i tried to do my best to get the best footage I could of this event but like I said it's really hard because you kind of have to like be in the moment and it was really great because I got to meet so many viewers there were kids there telling me that they watched me since they were middle school and I was like oh my god am I really that old because you guys are in college now which is crazy yeah I'm really happy with how everything went like I said these guys are online on my shop right now you guys can get them there they're very very cute they come discounted at a pair and I think I love them I've had them on my bags and I think they're the sweetest guys um, but yeah, I'm gonna be making some more things soon. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video And I think that's all I have to say So thank you guys so much for the support as always and I will see you guys in the next one Stay hydrated, take a nap, and I will see you when I see you. Bye everyone